Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support. Y'all have been overwhelming me with beautiful comments and I'm so grateful for those and with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been uh, watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video also if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video. Or you're just up telling me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the videos just gave you good vibes or just good information you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or just a fellow empath that's going through some really hard times right now, please go ahead and do so. While you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you so much for stopping by my channel and giving me so much love. I greatly appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Universe is about to blow the lid off of something. I mean, it's brewing. Y'all, it, it was just like the last day or two. I mean, I've just really been reflecting. And I told y'all when I'm in a funky mood, I just, I just, you know, cut everything off. I just don't bother with nobody or whatever. And it's not like I'm, I want to be mean or anything like that. But it's just like when, I, when I'm in a funky mood, I don't want to project that off to anybody. And I keep telling y'all that. But, you know, when I come back and I seen like about 40 or 50 freaking comments left, I was like, oh my gosh, y'all make me feel so so warm and wanted <laughs> but uh yeah it's just lately i don't know what's going on especially you know happy spring happy uh equinox to everybody you know the moon is coming out today the super moon and everything so it just feels like something's brewing something's brewing because it's like today i kept getting a mess uh like a not a message but like um a vision like i'm seeing this big huge kettle you know, like the ones like our moms used to put on the stove and it, it makes that, you know, that really high pitch annoying noise to let you know, hey, you can turn me off now. And it's just like I see water just going all over the place. So I don't know what's going on, but it's like having you reflect on different relationships, whether it's like with significant others, friends, you know, co-workers, people that, you know, are they good to be in your life or, you know, or things need to be exiting in your life. So it just has you really reflecting on things, you know, letting go of things that, you know, lo no longer serve you. Just getting rid of things that, you know, just makes you unhappy. Or it just makes you feel, you know, if you have to sit up here and walk on eggshells around certain people or you shouldn't be able to say certain things, they don't need to be in your life. You really don't. You know, they're, I mean, we all some sensitive folks, but shoot, come on now. You shouldn't have to be really dealing with somebody like that where, you, you know, you have to watch what you say. But it's just like, I don't know what the universe is up to right now, but it got it going on. It's just like, yesterday I felt so, like, emotional, dealing with a lot of things, and it's just like, you know, we're not going to always have a good day. You know, I try to be positive on, you know, when I make my videos, but, you know, not everybody's going to have a good day every single day. You always have your moments, you know, but it's just like when I'm like that, like I told you, I don't make any videos. I just keep up to myself, but um, I'm glad that I'm able to go through these things and be able to reflect off of stuff so I can just be able to get it out my life and you too, you know, you just reflect on things to see what, you know, see what that you need to deal with, what level you're getting ready to go on. We're all stepping off on another level. So there's a lot of the BS that has to be cut out of our lives for us to be able to do that, you know, so it's just like letting go. Just, you know, just basically forgiving yourself for allowing things to be able to go that far, you know, because um, a lot of times, especially with us being a Hayokas, we tend to hold on to a lot of things or, you know, sometimes we can be able to, you know, when we're going through things, we got to go investigate this, investigate that, see why this is like that. Why is this this way? Why is this this way? Because we pick the most hardest ways to freaking go through stuff. But that makes us a badass because all that stuff that you're going through right there 
is dealing with a lot. So it's just like when you're going through things and it's like, you know, this super moon is going to have you really reflecting on things, looking at things, you know, past hurts, past things that, you know, family and friends could have did to you, you know, a significant other did to you. So everything is starting to brew up because they need you to be able to let this stuff go. And that's what I was doing, just letting go of a lot of things, you know, even though. I felt like I was done. Obviously, I wasn't because the past vomit just kept coming up as well. So it's just like yesterday I had to take that break out for me, you know, do some self-care. We're, we're all going through that right now. It's like it seems like a lot of people are being reflected on things. Like if it's not coming through visions, it's coming through the dreams. It's like it's letting you know, educating you on things that, you know, you need to let go of or you need to pay attention to or you need to start researching on, you know. So it's just a lot of stuff that we're going through right now and it's like I don't know what it is this feeling I was just like excited that I keep on getting all these different visions about different things that's coming up and I'm like okay you know but it, it's just like universe got something brewing for us and they're they're really making us go through it right now because it's just like they need us up front and attention you know I see us like you know we're all lined up like an army and then all these lights are coming down and it's just pew, 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 hitting everybody on the top of the head and everything like that. But I see a, a lot of things just flying up too, like I see butterflies and stuff like that. So, you know, those are really good things because it's like we're letting go of things that's been weighing us down. Letting go of things that has been hindering us, you know, in the worst kind of way. Because it's like we take on so much, especially you don't even have to be... Uh, hey, okay, just impasse in general because we gravitate towards so many things. So we pick up people's insecurities. We pick up, you know, people's sadness. We pick up people's anger. And it's just like, we're well, already uh, with us being hey, okay, they already, you know, showing their insecurities to us anyway. You know, so which is already is too much. It's just way too much. So it's just like reflect on the things you need to reflect on. Let go of the things you need to let go of forgive the people you know that did the things to you You know even if you didn't even get that sorry just take that sorry as an L and keep it moving because it's just like we need to have that peace of mind we, we need to be able to put our heart and our mind at ease so we can be able to go because it's just like you know I ain't even gonna lie there'll be some past things that'll come up and I'm just like I didn't even have to remember that. I forgot all about that until this just came up but it, it's just like okay this came up for a reason it's like, you know, you need to let this go. It's not for you to keep on dwelling on, but it's just for you to be able to let things go. So the universe is getting you prepared for something. So, you know, you need to go ahead and get ready. Get ready. Because it's like we're going through too much. And it's just, you just need to go ahead and get ready for whatever is coming up. Because it's like we're going through some really tough times. And for us to be going through something so hard right now, like we're getting hit back to back to back with different emotions that's coming up, you know, different kind of wave of energy to the point where it makes you probably kind of anxious or whatever. And just, you know, curious as well. Cause I know I got anxious and curious and excited all at the same time. Like what the hell is going on? And can I just pick one emotion and leave it like that? No. And they want you to have all this going on at one time. So be able to figure out the things you need to figure out. Be able to let go of the things you need to let go of. And, you know, and just love yourself. You know, love love everything around you. And just keep it moving. But um, I hope you're able to resonate with the content of this video. It's not really long on this one today. I'm only going to do probably a couple of videos. I usually do like seven to nine videos a day. But, you know, I want to go ahead and do some nature walk. I was cleaning my whole house today. I don't know why, but, you know, the universe had me nesting like I was pregnant or whatever. So I cleaned up everything in my house. So I need to go out and take me a nature walk because it's very beautiful outside today. But um, if you are able to resonate, if you feel like there's something going on or you feel like there's something brewing and stuff like that, like I told y'all, it's just, they, you know, universe got us reflecting on a lot of things right now and it's... You know, they, we, we've really been through some tough stuff. So we really need to be able to say, you know what, enough is enough. You have suffered for long enough. You have went through a long, you know, went through things. And there's no reason for you, if you're not going through these things anymore, there's no reason for you to be holding on to these things like a security blanket. Be able to let them go. I have to tell myself that all the time. This is not your security blanket. Let that go. You have bigger and better things that's coming towards your life. But you can't have these things unless you let go of the other things. 
So I'm going to give my post notification shout out to Jacob McDonald, R. Uh, Holman, and M. 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 P. And much love to you. And I will see you on my next video. Like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell. Drop me a line or two. Give me a thumbs up. And share the video. And, you know, let me know. You know, even if it's about the positive feedback, so I can go ahead and give you a shout out on my next video. So I love y'all. I missed y'all yesterday. And I hope all y'all are having a pleasant Equinox Day. And I will see you on my next video. Much love, peace, and be wow.